most of us raising kids with anxiety or OCD feel alone. We feel alone in our struggles. We feel alone in our inability to handle what's been thrown at us. And yet, there are thousands and thousands of us out there dealing with the same issues, feeling the same frustrations. It doesn't help that there is a global shortage of trained anxiety and OCD child therapists. And it doesn't help that we're put on long waiting lists and expected to pay out of pocket to get the help that our kids so desperately need. But by the end of this video, after you hear from parents just like you, you'll see how you don't have to settle. You don't have to feel isolated, hopeless, and alone. You don't have to feel like you're at your wit's end, barely hanging on. You don't have to wait for that therapist to call you back for your child to decide that they want help before you actually take action. There are parents who decide to take a passive wait and see approach. And then there are parents like so many of my AT parenting community who know that they don't have time to waste. They aren't gonna put their child's future and long-term success waiting on someone else. They know that regardless of the support they get from a therapist, they'll have to do their part. They know you have to create a therapeutic home environment where you are able to tackle your child's anxiety or OCD as it shows up, moment to moment. You have to know your role and adapt your parenting in a way that is often counterintuitive. That's what I realized after my son started having major issues with anxiety and OCD. As an anxiety and OCD child therapist, I know the irony is not lost on me either, I thought I got this. I started to pull my son in my home office for weekly therapy sessions. But I soon realized that it was what I was doing the rest of the time that actually mattered the most. It was how I was coaching him through an intrusive thought. It was how I was addressing his refusal to go into a dark room or brush his teeth after he decided that all mirrors were too scary. It dawned on me that all parents were in the same boat, that they were in the best position in the only position actually to set up a therapeutic home environment that was going to help their child's long-term prognosis and eventual success. That it wasn't just a nice supplement to therapy, but it was a crucial component if you wanted to see real progress. But I realized beyond that, parents need a safe place to feel supported, a place to go ask questions and get real-time answers a place where all the classes, resources, and tools were simple, accessible, and easy to use. And if life was too overwhelming to look at all that, a place where you just needed to ask the community and they'd have your back. That's exactly why I created the AT Parenting Community. A community where not only will you get concrete help and guidance, but you'll be gaining a virtual family who will be on speed dial if and when you need support. That's exactly what these parents found when they joined the AT Parenting community. Parents from the United States, Canada, Australia, UK, South Africa, parents who have kids with anxiety, kids with OCD, kids with pandas or pans, parents who have toddlers, parents who have teens, and even young adults, parents dealing with small issues and parents dealing with very big issues, parents who are new to these struggles and parents who have been on this journey for a long, long time. As you listen to their stories, you'll hear familiar struggles, similar frustrations, but you'll also see the hope, the belonging, and the feeling of confidence they gained by making the choice to make their emotional health and that of their child's their number one priority. Um, we've got a 12 year old daughter who was diagnosed with OCD about 18 months ago. Uh, it's disgust-based OCD and just right. OCD and it was quite a shock to us um, so a whole loads of new learning um, and we've we have therapy we're here in Australia I have five kids all of which have anxiety issues and my oldest son was diagnosed with severe to extreme uh, OCD last year I was struggling with my own anxiety and OCD and I was struggling with my three kids four, six, and eight. My four-year-old has sensory processing disorder and anxiety, and my other two have 
generalized anxiety. And so when I joined, I was kind of at a loss of everything. I didn't know which way to go. I wasn't sure what I was doing was working or anything. I, I was pretty much lost. Uh, my daughter has severe OCD and anxiety. Um, we, for the last few years, have been um, searching for ways to help her and to um, just find some resources for our family. Um, we homeschool, and this last year she was completely un, uh, unable to function, and we were really at our wit's end. She was struggling so badly, and we've tried so many different therapies and doctors um, to no avail. And that was the point at which he said, you know, uh, the light bulb went off, and I'm um, fairly certain that we're dealing with pandas. And um, so uh, that opened up a whole nother rabbit hole. We I joined about, oh, my daughter was three or four years into her OCD. So I felt like um, I, I, I felt like I knew a lot, but I was still researching. I was still wanting more. I was still wanting support. So joining the AT parenting community has been one of the best things I could have done for me and my family. I have a four and seven year old with lots of anxiety and at times it got just debilitating for us as a family and I was super lonely, um, people weren't listening, I didn't have any support and that has all been changed by being part of this amazing community. I came across um, AT Parenting several months ago. Um, my daughter's therapist sent an email suggesting that I give it a try and check it out. So I went and read about it and decided to sign up and give it a try. And I have been amazed at some of the things I've learned, uh, the progress my daughter has made, and she's made a bunch of friends along the way too. And I'm the mom to a 12 year old daughter who suffers from OCD and anxiety and also has ASD. And then an eight year old that also has some anxiety issues. So what brought us to AT community um, was the hurdle of potty training for our five-year-old. Um, since then, he has been officially diagnosed with OCD. I live in South Africa, um, and it's a country that doesn't have a lot of resources for children's mental health and specifically OCD. It took me a very long time to get my daughter diagnosed, about four years. The AT community group has been a lifesaver for me. As I said, my country doesn't have a lot of mental health facilities for children or support for children with OCD. Um, and I really was at my wit's end on how I'm going to support my child, how I'm going to do ERP, um, how I'm just basically going to, to parent a daughter with OCD in a country that has little to no resources. The AT community has been an absolute lifesaver. Natasha has been instrumental in the past few months in helping us set up ERP challenges, going through them step by step, being supportive each and every step of the way. Um, it's just, it's been wonderful. So I'm extremely thankful for finding Natasha and then being part of the AT community. It's been an absolute joy. I've learned so much. The support is fantastic. It's, it's just been life-changing for my daughter. Hi, my name is Susie and I have two sons. My oldest son, he's 16 years old and he has severe OCD. Before, I found at Parents Community, I hit rock bottom. I was already clinically depressed. I was in total despair. I felt like a failure, a failure as a mom. As a parent, you want to be able to support and give the tools your child needs in order to get through to adulthood. Like you all know, with OCD and anxiety, they're chameleons. So they keep on changing fears, your core fear keeps on changing. And I just realized at one stage that even though the free resources are absolutely amazing, I need something more. I need, I need a community to support me through this because I had so much questions and so many questions keeps on kept on popping up about what to do next, how to 
to help my kids and that's when I decided to join the AT Parenting community. What I found in the few months that I've been part of this community is that I've been able to express my concerns and my frustration that I have with OCD and the lack of information out there. And last winter, I received an email discussing the community and that there was an opening. Um, and it just like the stars aligned at that point. Uh, we were ready. Um, I had been running into the same brick wall. I needed to try something different. We have the monthly Zoom calls and um, now, as well as Natasha sharing, we all, as parents, get to share our experiences and share with each other. And we always leave feeling really connected and learn from each other. Really kind of neat component is the uh, monthly Zoom calls, the Q&A with Natasha. She's able to uh, help us directly. I get to see some of the other moms. I'm starting to understand their kids, their stories. We share our wins, our challenges. And um, it really is a terrific support. Uh, if it's something I haven't faced yet, um, I'm understanding what the other moms are going through. And should I find myself in a similar situation with my daughter, um, in the future, I know that uh, there's someone in our community that's been through it that uh, can hold my hand or just give me support. One of the best things about being part of the AT Parenting community is the live monthly Zoom calls that I'm able to do with Natasha and the other members of the community. Just seeing all the other moms and just being having a place monthly to go and talk to these lovely women that I get to share my struggles and my wins and I get to hear advice from them that have similar stories, similar kids with the same struggles and it just feels so welcoming and it feels like I finally have a place where I can, I can actually see hope. I, ha I can find hope. And one of the big advantages of the IT parenting community for me is the uh, monthly Zoom calls for parents um, where you have the opportunity to chat to Natasha about questions and things that bothers you or things that you would like some advice on and then not only does she give you amazing advice but there's also parents on there on the monthly zoom call other parents that went through exactly the same thing and knows exactly how you're feeling and what you're going through and able to help you with that and give you really good advice and actually tips and hints that that work and things that you can practically implement and benefit from um, one of the things that I really like is the Zoom meetings that happen once a month with parents where you can collaborate and bounce ideas off of each other um, and get Natasha's input right then and there. And my husband and I uh, signed up for the course and, that, uh, and it really helped uh, introduce my husband to explain to him uh, why my daughter was having some of the behaviors, the intensity of the behaviors, um, her reactions uh, to things, uh, her irrational thoughts, um, and it really just kind of gave us a basis to understand what she was going through and uh, where these behaviors were stemming from. In addition, she has the most amazing large volume of learning videos. And these videos are short and simple to understand. And I'm so grateful that I've been given the opportunity to view these videos. I've been able to sit down with my family and view them and be able to re-educate myself and I've been able to apply some of these tips on the issues that I am facing with. There's a parenting class. There's numerous ones, and I signed up to take the OCD one. The classes on the website are 
phenomenal. You can, you know, look for things that you are, spe you know, that you're specifically trying to target or just get broad knowledge about something. You get to save and favorite things so you can go back and read it. The website is really easy to use. And then one of the other things that I really liked is that you are able to do one of the big courses for free. Again, so much valuable info. And just for that alone, joining the community is worth it. Both of the, the courses, the OCD one and the anxiety one, I can highly recommend. Uh, there's also some um, handouts and stuff that can be used. And one of the ones we have really made use of here in our home is the um, reassurance cards. We've copied them. We used them with our daughter. We've gotten some advice in the Facebook group and from our therapist that works with our daughter. And it has been a game changer for us. Uh, she has really finally started to make strides after all these years of very little progress. And I have to say the the website for the community website is absolutely amazing. There's so many resources on there. Videos just for the community, videos just for kids. Um, and my daughter, every time she watches one, she says, oh, I can't believe that there's more kids just feeling just like me and going through exactly the same. And it just validates how she feels and helps her through her issues. Um, my daughter also looks forward to the groups that Natasha runs and where she gets to talk to other kids that are experiencing OCD and anxiety. And she looks forward to that. The week that I made a mistake on the time, she was very disappointed. That Natasha has started a support group for the kids. And that has just been a boost to my daughter. Uh, for her to hear mom tell her that she's absolutely phenomenal and an awesome kid. Um, you know, she's like, yeah, mom, okay, I know I'm awesome. But truly, to be able to get together with the other children to meet them, to share with them uh, fears and anxieties and understand that, you know, here are all these other really cool kids. They're awesome. They're neat. They're phenomenal. And hey, they have um, fears and anxiety too, just like I do. And it doesn't describe who they are. It's not who they are. Um, it's the OCD, it's the anxiety, and so uh, for her self-esteem, that's really been terrific, and I appreciate Natasha, including her children, um, in the community. She doesn't know any children like her, and that was a huge, huge um, hindrance for her because she felt like she was unique and alone and that nobody struggled with the things that she struggles with. We've been doing the group sessions for a couple months now and she's found kids that are just like her. She's got a pen pal and um, she looks forward to it every single month. She's even done it in the car um, on the way to the airport or on the way to trips because she is so excited to know that there's people like her out there. My daughter participated in the last Zoom call for kids and she is eight and I haven't I, I struggle with getting her to speak about her issues. She's one of those I'm fine, I'm always fine, bottles it up and never wants to open up about it. And I heard her in the Zoom call for the first time speak about a true genuine fear that she has and all these other brave little kids spoke up and gave her advice and they just she after her Zoom call she said, Mom I truly, absolutely loved that. I feel like I'm not alone in my own worries and struggles. And like everything is going to be fine. To me as a mother, hearing my anxious child say that has just truly changed me in so many ways. Just to have Natasha at my fingertips if I needed her was amazing. Natasha gives you so much of her time and her expertise. She's there to answer your questions. So it's such a personal 
way of getting help and support when it's much needed. Uh, Natasha was able to uh, set us up with an ERP specialist, a therapist who's providing teletherapy for my daughter. I'm a pretty aggressive mom uh, when it comes to finding treatments and I'd spent a good two years hitting brick walls and within a week or two, Natasha was really able to understand uh, my child's needs, the dynamics in our home, our challenges, and um, set us up on a, a path forward to healing. Um, it's so nice to be able to ask her live questions in office hours. She was there, she responds. Uh, her live videos every week where she asks us what we need her to talk about. Uh, also her forums, again, where you can ask questions. She's on there all the time. She is very present. The resources she's had provided, the worksheets, uh, there are so many things in this AT parenting community that are beneficial. And then also um, the forums on there is amazing. You've, if you have any question, you just pop it on the right, on the on the thread. And not only Natasha, but so many amazing moms and dads on there are able to help you and give you sound advice of things that really works. She's fantastic at, if you ask her a question, um, being able to answer you um, and to get real expert help. So Natasha has this wealth of experiences and learnings, online modules, resources, tools, guidance, and also her commitment to sharing online, responding to any queries um, with generosity, with the experience of her own children, her own lived experiences, her professional opinion. Um, personally, the community has helped me because I feel like I needed my support. We go to therapy with my daughter, we're there, you know, for an hour and we're working on her stuff and, you know, she's asking her questions and we're working on ERP. And then sometimes I leave and I think, oh man, I didn't even get a chance to, to ask my own questions about something for her. Uh, and that is what has helped me in AT Parenting Community, just that I can ask my questions. I know there's someone there to help me. She knows her stuff. She wants to help parents just like me who is struggling with OCD. And she has, she's basically a fountain of information. She knows what she's saying. And when she doesn't know something, she is more than happy to find out and come back to you. She'll get the information that you need or she'll direct you to someone that does. Really appreciate the connection, the shared, the sharing online. Just having other people to talk to who knew what I was going through and not feeling so isolated and alone because OCD, anxiety can make you as a parent feel just by yourself, you know, what am I going to do? And N Natasha answers all of our questions and I, I can come to her and tell her, hey, this is a struggle I'm having with my Mr. Four. Can you guide me in the right direction? And many other moms and parents will speak up and give me their own advice. And to me, that has been life changing in itself. And also just the support of all the other moms and dads. It's really good. You know, we laugh together. We cry together. We fail together. We succeed together. Um, and, and everybody gets it. Everybody gets it, and it's such a nice community to be with. And then you have the added bonus of this fantastic community of parents who are going through such similar things, and suddenly you're empowered and have ways of accessing help and making a real difference to your family, and it's a fantastic place to be a part of. What I have found in the community is a place to collaborate, to share resources, to share ideas and strategies, um, to share in triumphs, and to help others um, who are with struggles. I've been able to tell my story in details and not be afraid that I'm going to be chastised or, or criticized. I've been able to get guidance from other parents through their shared experience. 
And what I found in this community is that you're gonna find no judgment here. What you're gonna find here are parents just like me who's having a hard time and are vulnerable and is taking the steps to trust others, other people that you don't know, but you're willing to take the chance to share your experience, to support one another. And that's what you're gonna find in this community. A large number of parents who's supporting one another and listening to your story. And what was missing for us was connection with other people, other families in the community. And actually, we don't know anybody in, in our city, in our local area. And it was um, something that we were really missing and we wanted to normalise it as well for our daughter um, and seek shared experiences. And that was when our therapist recommended Natasha's group. And um, so we've been a member for about six months. It's just an amazing, amazing place, and I'm really thankful for it. I just highly recommend it to anyone who is struggling with a child with anxiety or OCD. Um, it just really, it has really helped my family in a lot of ways. I can't imagine where we would have been if it wasn't for for the community and for Natasha's resources. It's been invaluable to us um, to be a part of this group and to have it be um, a part of her life so that she can continue to grow and, um, and heal. I don't know how I have ever managed to raise children without being part of this community. I am so grateful that I'm a part of this community. It's tough stuff, but we're all in it together and, um, you know, it's just nice to know you're not alone. And again, um, I'm blessed that my daughter has also felt the benefits of the community. You shouldn't have to feel lost, overwhelmed, or alone. Even if you have the support of a therapist, who is there to support you? Who is there to give you ongoing advice when your child doesn't want help or is refusing to go to therapy? Who is there to cheer you on when your child had a huge win that no one else would appreciate. Parents often spend over $200 a session to help their child with anxiety or OCD. That can be over $800 a month. But for less than one session's copay, you can have 24 hours a day, seven day a week support, not only from an anxiety and OCD child therapist, but from hundreds of other parents just like you. We are all given choices in this world. So what are you gonna choose? Will you choose to continue winging it, flying solo, hoping you're doing all you can to help your child? Or will you choose to join hundreds of parents just like you? Supersize your circle of support, letting us be there with you and having no doubt that you're doing absolutely everything you can to set your child up for long-term success. Well, if you're tired of being alone and exhausted and you are ready to join me, I will see you over in the AT Parenting community. Thank <laughs> you.